Hello, I'm Christian from the DGSA. In a series of videos, we would like to show you the palpation of different muscles where people often have difficulties with. We think that palpation is not only important for dry needling, but also for manual trigger point therapy and for the examination of patients in general. Today, I would like to show you the palpation of the iliopsoas muscle distally of the inguinal ligament and how to differentiate it from neighboring structures. So, let's have a look at the anatomy first. The iliacus muscle and the psoas muscle converge to the iliopsoas muscle, which you will palpate distally of the inguinal ligament. The iliopsoas lies within the femoral triangle, just medial of the sartorius muscle. The inguinal ligament can be localized between the ASIS and the symphysis. The femoral triangle is defined as the area between the inguinal ligament, the sartorius muscle, and the adductor longus muscle. Before we palpate in the femoral triangle, we have to know the structures there. From medial to lateral are the femoral vein, artery and nerve. In addition, we will find lymph nodes, which are scattered mainly at the medial part of the triangle. Now let's go to practice. So here you see the femoral triangle. The femoral triangle is defined as the medial board of the sartorius, the lateral border of the adductor longus muscle and the inguinal ligament. The inguinal ligament comes from the anterior superior iliac spine and goes down to the symphysis. The sartorius can be defined by letting the patient lift the leg in the sign of four and the adductor longus can be defined by letting the patient press the knee against medial. So the adductor longus is the most prominent or dominant muscles, muscle of the adductors. Then, before we palpate in the femoral triangle, we have to palpate the femoral artery. Now, if you palpate the femoral artery, you have to palpate the point where you feel the pulse the most. So, basically, you can feel the pulse from here to here, but you have to locate the spot where the pulse is the strongest, which is here. So this is the femoral artery. From inside, we have first the femoral vein, femoral artery, and the femoral nerve. Also, before you palpate in the femoral triangle, please check if there are any swollen or painful lymph nodes. I feel lymph nodes here, and I feel some lymph nodes here, but they feel normal and are not painful for the patient. So the iliopsoas runs in a dorsal lateral direction towards the trochanter minor. The best way to palpate the iliopsoas distally of the inguinal ligament is to palpate it just around the medial border of the sartorius muscle. For that, contract the sartorius muscle again, and then palpate with your thumb just around the medial border of the sartorius muscle. And then let the patient flex the hip in an active, assistive way, and then you can feel the iliopsoas muscle contracting toward your thumb. So that's it. Trigger points in the iliopsoas muscle distally of the inguinal ligament are a very common cause of groin pain. So therefore I think it's important to know how to palpate the iliopsoas muscle there correctly. So I hope you liked this video and don't forget to join us on YouTube, Facebook and Instagram.